reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the I reason? Was Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times celebs were fought live on TV. So if you cute. want to have a woman to woman, I need to have a woman in front of me to be able to so do I'm that. So you're insulting so, me now? You know what? I did not come for that. For this list, we're looking at the wildest celebrity altercations that happened on live television. Did we miss one of your favorite celebrity brawls? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Sharon Osbourne vs. Cheryl Underwood On the daytime program The Talk, Sharon Osbourne got heated with her co-host Cheryl Underwood. In discussing Pierce Morgan's comments about Meghan Markle, Osbourne defended her former America's Got Talent colleague against accusations of racism. I know he has a right to say what he feels on the interview, as we have a right to say, and everybody has a right to say what they feel with freedom of speech. Underwood attempted to calm down her fellow panelist, but it was too late for the British host. Feeling targeted, Osborne launched into a bleeped tirade as the show went to commercial. How can I be racist about anybody? How can I be racist about anybody or anything in my life? How can I? Well, 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 I'll well tell you, what? We will be right well, back. What? We have more topics, so don't go away. I... The show came back from break even more tense than before, as the host became more defensive. Even as the program went south, Underwood kept her cool as she was verbally attacked. I'm not tearing up because you've hurt me or I want some sympathy. I'm tearing up because I have to restrain that. Because if I had responded, then I would have been the angry black woman. The resulting impact of the fight led to Osborne's departure from the show. Number 9. Andy Kaufman versus Jerry Lawler in 1982, comedian Andy Kaufman took the late night with David Letterman audience for a theatrical ride. To me, you'd have to be nuts to want to get into the ring with this guy. Uh, he appears to be maybe twice your weight, uh, he, and, and he's better looking. Joining wrestler Jerry Lawler as a guest, the performer riled up his rival in an escalating argument that turned physical. Unable to break up the fight, Letterman was only able to watch as the show went off the rails. Lawler slapped his neck brace wearing counterpart, knocking him out of his chair. <laughs> Things only got worse when Kaufman returned to chew Lawler out in one of the more intense moments in late night history. You're a my friend. I will sue you for everything you have. I will sue your. You're a. As far as I'm concerned, you hear me? Even if it was staged, the two were clearly dedicated to making it all look legit. Number 8. Chanel West Coast vs. Charlemagne the God MTV's mainstay show Ridiculousness welcomed outspoken media personality Charlemagne the God to the guest couch. But just because you get. say something doesn't make it the truth. That's true. It's just my opinion. She's saying, saying that because I said her, I told her she was whack rapping one time. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> it started off cordially enough, but it was only a matter of time that the Breakfast Club host stirred up trouble. Co-host Chanel West Coast was reminded of a series of criticisms leveled against her by Charlemagne. Have y'all ever heard her rap? Okay, good for the people that said no. Avoiding eye contact, the two exchanged words, with West Coast standing up to deliver her rebuttal. Defending her talent and hip hop career, the performer didn't mince words in front of the studio audience. Mind you, I did a song with Snoop Dogg after getting into a verbal argument with him because he respected me so much after I spoke my mind to him, he still came back and did a song Why with me. Why are you talking with your hands, though? Host Rob Deerdeck tried to extinguish the fire, but even his lovable energy couldn't stop this fight. Number 7. Cardi B vs. Nicki Minaj There's no place too fancy for a good old-fashioned rumble. These two musicians encountered each other at the Harper's Bazaar Icons party. Cardi B attacked Nicki Minaj over alleged words about the former's daughter. The Anaconda rapper later denied speaking ill of her rival's family, but that didn't stop the latter from starting a fight. In the heat of the moment, the Bodak yellow artist even threw her shoe at Minaj. Insults and punches didn't stop until the two were separated. Needless to say, the New York fashion community watched in horror as it all transpired. Number 6. Cardi B vs. Asia Davis On Love & Hip Hop New York, Cardi B made a name for herself as a rapper and a one-of-a-kind personality. Her reputation for throwing footwear in fights was etched into legend with this televised disaster. The performer and her co-star Asia Davis hashed out their many grievances on a reunion show. It was immediately clear why the two had been positioned so far away. 
After a few stern words, the artist was ready to throw down again with Davies. You had to drop me. Both of you had to drop me. I'll drop <laughs> again! <laughs> Cardi B needed a whole team to keep her from laying hands on a rival. This wasn't the last we would see of the performer, but it was certainly a turning point for her career. Number 5. Burt Reynolds vs. Mark Summers During a memorable episode of The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, the kindly Mark Summers was the second guest after a testy Burt Reynolds. The legendary actor started things off on a sour note by picking a fight. Just say that because your back is to me and I, I, I was just talking to a back. <laughs> no, no, I, I can talk to you too, Bert. Thank you. Watch um, out, he's got scissors. Summers reciprocated by mentioning Reynolds' failed marriage, leading to an unexpected water war. <laughs> Even Jay Leno himself realized he'd lost control of his own show. This known as losing control of the program, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. By the time everyone's mugs were empty, the show was never going back to normal. The two guests later squared off in a pie duel that left nobody unscathed. One, two, three. Bizarre and unexpected, this fight was surprising from start to finish. Number 4. The Geraldo Brawl Geraldo Rivera made a name for himself in the 1980s with his own controversial show. In a particularly heated discussion, three white supremacists squared off with activists on a tense panel. Let's get yes, to the yes, real yes, issues here. Yes, why are you curbing? Why are you beating around the bush, Jerry? Look at why you know. Jerry King. That was your former name, wasn't it? It, it wasn't, and I really oh, okay. recommend okay. that you don't push me too hard. When one of the skinhead leaders called Roy Innes a racial epithet, the core chairman confronted the bigoted man. The resulting chaos created a domino effect that spread throughout the studio. A flying chair broke the host's nose during the brawl. It's one of the few television broadcasts that became a near riot. Afterwards, the racist portion of the panel was removed from the stage. When all was said and done, a bloodied Rivera continued the show like nothing happened. Only slightly the worse for the wear. <laughs> We're back. Number 3. Portia Williams vs. Kenya Moore the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast were no strangers to confrontation, but this iconic reunion made other episodes look tame. She's Anybody's playing, victim, and she's I will playing never the victim. Be anyone's she's victim. playing. She's I'm playing the victim. You say she that she wants everybody to so sorry for her. Everything went downhill fast as Portia Williams and Kenya Moore chirped at each other. Kenya's megaphone prop only made things worse as the two tried to talk over each other. After being accused of cheating on her ex-husband, Williams had been pushed to her limit. Host Andy Cohen was not able to break up the bout before it got really ugly. You are a dumb ho, shut up. Williams took her co-star to the floor, grabbing more by the hair. Needless to say, this fight was one for the Real Housewives history books. Number 2. Muhammad Ali vs. Joe Frazier In this vintage clip, two heavyweight champions duped it out in a studio instead of the ring. Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier talked boxing with host Howard Cosell while sitting a little too close for comfort. You look you good, believe. Joe. I you feel should. good, too. That's where I feel like I should dress for this kind of show. Analyzing match footage, the rivals went from good-natured ribbing to a full argument. After Ali started name-calling, Frazier didn't take the criticism well. Most viewers probably saw this coming from a mile away. Maybe we're going to bring up a hospital, mm -hmm. right? I'll say you're going to hospital. We don't want to mention. I went to hospital for 10 minutes. You went for a month. Then be quiet. The pair hit the ground in an impromptu grappling session. There's no question that things would have gotten much worse if security hadn't showed up. In the end, the champs chose to save the remaining fight for their next face-off. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Will Smith vs. Chris Rock It was the slap heard round the world. As comedian Chris Rock took the stage to introduce the Best Documentary Feature category, he made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith. Her husband, Will Smith, laughed along until he noticed his wife's reaction. <laughs> yeah, from the looks of that eye roll, Jada didn't think it was funny. What followed was the defining moment of the ceremony. 
Smith slapped the presenter across the face before taking his seat to yell at him. Will Smith getting up out of his chair mid-show and smacking Chris Rock across the face. To Rock's credit, he didn't escalate the fight any further with the King Richard star. The actor received the Best Actor award less than an hour later with no immediate consequences. Turning the Academy Awards on its head, this outburst went down as one of the most infamous in live television history. The actor posted to Instagram, My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.